Hey Awesomers, um, I know some of you probably get bullied for being short or feel insecure about being short. So I've got this book called I'd Rather Be Short. And it's a hundred reasons why it's great to be small. And so I wanted to share with you some of the reasons to help you not feel insecure. I'm not going to do all 100 reasons, but if you like it, I will, um, do, I'm going to only do some of them and I will do the rest if you like it. So first reason, reason number one, you can sleep like a queen in a twin size bed. Reason number two. No high heels are too high. Reason number three, you can never outgrow a tree house. Reason number four, kid clothes, expanding options while saving money. Reason number five, you get thrown around at parties. Reason number six, you're more unique like diamonds or limited edition beanie babies. Hashtag 90s kid. Okay. Reason number seven. You are amazing at limbo. Reason number eight. You're less likely to smell someone's bad breath. Reason number nine. Your face never gets cut off in group photos because you have to stand in the front. Reason number 10, you never have to hold the umbrella. Reason number 11, you're never expected to help your friends move unless you have a truck. Reason number 12, you're an easy overnight guest. You love the love seats and they love you. Reason number 13, 50 Cent wants to party in the club with you like it's your birthday or something. Reason number 15. You get to sit on laps rather than be sat on. That was reason number 14. Reason number 15. You're less likely to get hit by a bullet. Reason number 17. You can easily turn a pillowcase into a Halloween costume. Hashtag Pocahontas. I did that one year anyways. Um, reason number 17. Short shorts can be appropriate at any time, anywhere. Reason number 19. You get your friend's shrunken hand-me-down. Reason number 19, you never have a double chin from any position. For me, I'm short, so, because I'm, oh yeah, I'm, for me, I'm four, if you're wondering, I'm four, nine and a half. So, I'm pretty short, so this book is helpful. Reason number 20, you excel in a number of sports, thanks to your height. Now, I don't know if this would necessarily be true, but it says it in the book, so it might be. Reason number 21. Thanks to your hair to height ratio, you can have mermaid hair all the time if you're a girl. Reason number 22. You'll be cute when you are old. Reason number 23. You're less... In, into, no. Reason number 23, you're less intimidating when you want to be. Reason number 24, the shorter you are, the softer you fall. Reason number 26, you're never the one to make the hot tub overflow. Reason number 27, your size to cushion sharing. Reason number 28, you are automatically awesome at hide and seek. Reason number 29, you're more likely to get a piggyback ride when you're tired.
reason number 30. You save money on body wash. Reason number 31. You're a fantastic candidate for a hug. Reason number 32. Tall chores just aren't expected of you. Reason number 30, 30, Reason number 33. Because you because you are less threatening, you never have to defend yourself against animals. Reason Okay, another reason. You join a list of respectable ladies such as Amy Poehler, Dolly Parton, Natalie Portman, and Salama Hayek, who are short ladies too. Reason number three. Another reason. Because I was counting the numbers, so I'm just going to say another reason. Another reason. You get the best of both worlds. Kitty meals and cocktail parties. Reason, another reason. You make your significant other feel significantly, significantly taller than they actually are. Another reason. You're harder to take down in a chicken fight. Another reason. Big studies. The studies show that the smaller you are, the less likely you are to get a speeding ticket. Another reason, it takes less time to shave your legs. Another reason, skirts can be dresses and dresses can be skirts. Another reason, it's easier to blend into crowds. Another reason, you can stand in an airplane under the storage units and you don't even have to duck. Food portions seem bigger. It cannot be stressed enough how valuable it is to be able to fit into small spaces. Concert goers are less likely to hassle you when you shimmy up to the front. You're always a little spoon. No brainer. A laundry basket can be a sled. Sample shoes at department stores fit you. Fairs. Short people can get in for free and still make it into the beer tent. Short people have faster reflexes. You are less likely to get struck by lightning. These are supposed to be funny. You can dunk. But if you dunk, you become an instant hero like Spud Webb or Teen Wolf. Short women are adorable when they're pregnant. Good luck finding someone who disagrees. It's easier to get dance hem than it is to magically make them grow. Every seat in the car has leg room. You never have to duck for a shower. You can drink at your own pace because nobody expects you to keep up. You can curl up like a cat and sleep on a plane. Nobody ever thinks a small one is guilty. Being short lends itself to a classic pun lines. I can't reach that toilet paper, but 
I bet you can. Tall people are jealous of you because while they can't shrink, you can still grow. You can jump on beds without hitting your head on the ceiling. Smaller clothes equals more space for souvenirs. You have the ability to sit crisscross anywhere. Okay, so that is all that I'm going to do for today. Um, so I hope you like it. Leave a comment down below if you've had uh, any, like, experiences you, experiences you have had being short. And that is all. I will see you guys tomorrow.